Hey everyone, big news from the tech world. Windows 10's time is almost up. Microsoft is pulling the plug. If you're still clinging to it, you might be in for a rough ride, but don't worry, we've got you covered. Today, I will tell you what you need to make the jump to Windows 11 and how to do it smoothly. Let's jump in. First things first, what does end of support actually mean? Uh, it's simple, no more security updates, no more bug fixes, no more support from Microsoft. It's, it's basically like driving a car without insurance or maintenance, very risky. Mark this date, October 14th, 2025. That's when Windows 10 will officially be unsupported. Spooky stuff. So don't wait until last minute, and here's why. Picture this, your software stops working, your computer slows down, worst of all, you're vulnerable to cyber attacks. Staying on Windows 10 is like leaving your front door unlocked. It's not good. Now let's talk about the shiny new Windows 11. It's been out for a few years. Um, it's changed quite a bit since its first launch at the end of 2021. Uh, now it's a, it's a whole new way to work and play. Um, but here are my top three reasons to love it. Windows 11 has a clean, modern, intuitive design. Uh, there's not a lot of clutter and recent applications and files are even easier than, to access than Windows 10. My number two reason is performance. Everybody wants good performance. Well, applications running in the foreground have much better performance. Uh, they run at a higher priority and there are fewer background processes that run by default on Windows 11. Their search engine makes searching for your local files on your computer much easier than it ever did before. Reason three, Windows security. Windows security and Microsoft Defender are both back uh, with improvements uh, from security alarms to identity validation. Uh, these are new tools to prevent hackers or malware from accessing your data. Uh, the newer CPU requirement also is able to enable more features than before, which will help to mitigate these kinds of attacks. So if you're ready to take the leap, here is exactly how you can upgrade in three simple steps. Uh, number one, Head to Microsoft's website to see if your device is actually compatible with Windows 11. Number two, before upgrading, always back up your files. The easiest way to do this is just to take advantage of Microsoft's OneDrive and back up your files by signing in there. And number three, use the either use Windows Update or Microsoft's Installation Assistant, which you can download from their website, uh, or simply reach out to your IT support and they will be able to help determine if your PC is compatible and ready for Windows 11 and when you can start updating. So there you have it. That's really everything you need to know about saying goodbye to Windows 10 and hello to Windows 11. Don't get left behind. Make the switch now. Future-proof your tech. So hit that like button, subscribe, and share this video with anyone who might need a Windows 11 upgrade. Thanks for watching.